What do you think are some of the best performances that you did do in 2021? Oh my God, I barely worked last year. Um, hmm. I am so bad at timelines. I think, I think I had a really good DP last year. Okay. <laughs> And I think I also, when you say, I think you mean, you think it was last year, not Correct. the year before, not like, you're not sure if it was good. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, um, pretty good last year. I think I just kind of shot a more variety of things instead mm -hmm. of really like honing in something and like mm -hmm. shining at anything. Um, I, worked a lot actually in 2020 mm. and then I started climbing and then this last year was just kind of back and forth between showing up to work and going climbing and not that my performances were bad but I think mentally I was so distracted that it's not a very bright memory but I think my DP was shot last year um for Perv City and who was that with with uh Ramon Namar and Michael Stefano yeah. Awesome. See how far I'm like, uh, yeah. two classics that, yes. um, we have shot a lot in the past. They've actually been around for so long that my mom used to shoot them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My mom shot Ramon when he was 18. Oh my gosh. I have pictures of him when he was like 18. <gasps> I have to see that from you later, but yeah, they're both great. I, um, had never worked with Michael Stefano before. If you tell me I'm doing anal with Ramon, I'm like, cool. Like, do you want me to squirt? Like, what else do you want? Because yeah. it's so like I, my body just knows that it's going to work because mm -hmm. um, it's happened so many times somehow mm -hmm. um, that it's always a really good scene. I'm able to really relax and get into it and be crazy and be a little wilder and have really high energy because I'm not like concerned that he's going to like move and slip out and hurt me or whatever. Right. You're saying specifically with Ramon. Specifically with Ramon and then Michael Stefano, I'd trust. I feel like Claudio uh, pairs people up really well for DPs. Right. And so I was just, yeah, it was in 2021. Yeah. I was just like really excited and ready for it. What is it about working with someone like Ramon that makes like the scene go so well? Um, I think at least with me and I can't speak for other performers, but with me, he seems very intuitive of my reactions to him, um, where I never have to kind of hold him back or pull him in or even tap him really. Um, probably just cause he's been doing it so long. He's just so aware of like the tiniest little adjustment I do. And then he adjusts further and then it's great. And, mm -hmm. um, I think it's been like that since the first shoot I had with him. Mm -hmm. Plus it's been like seven times now or something. Mm -hmm. So like it's just gotten better and better. And yeah. so it's just trustworthy. And I feel like anal for me, I have to be, um, pretty like confident about it that day. Not because mm -hmm. I'm worried about an accident, just I'm like, my butthole's really shy. <laughs> it is. It takes a minute to warm up to people. And he's always just been really good at warming me up on camera, um, keeping it sexy while doing that and like getting me into it and, and just listening to mm -hmm. me. So I don't know. I think we just have really good on screen chemistry and it's like real. So. Yeah. 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 That's great. I mean, that's like, I definitely think pairing people with the right performers is is everything mm -hmm. for a good scene. So how do you generally prepare for anal? Like, how do you get yourself ready for a scene? <laughs> I'm so lazy. Um, I am not crazy about it. Like, as far as, like, some girls have, like, three-day-long preparations. Um, I eat whatever I want almost until the moment we're shooting. Um, I will like adjust and not eat like beets or like a salad or like something like that. Like I'll end up eating more like bread and carbs and pasta and stuff uh, the night before and like the morning of I just have toast and I take some Imodium in the morning. I clean out, stretch out, take another, and then like somewhere makeup happens. And then I take another Imodium right before and then I just say, I tell the performer that my butthole is shy and to be nice to it. And then they just have to like kiss me and go really slow. Um, also coming right beforehand helps for some mm -hmm. reason. Um, no, I know girls who bring vibrators to set mm -hmm. who like get really? themselves to orgasm first so that they're more 
like pliable and ready to go. Wow. I've seen girls do that. Yeah. I don't think anyone even told me to do that. I just, it happened one day probably mm-hmm. with Ramon. He probably made me come. And then mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes a big difference. Yeah. So I'll make myself come. And then, um, I usually eat right before as well because I have lessened my food intake and lessened my nutrients because I'm just eating like bread. Um, so usually they'll have food or I'll bring food and I'll eat it right before. I don't care. Mm -hmm. And then just do the scene. And I think the more relaxed I am about it and I, I clean out the night before fully, Mm -hmm. like overdo it. And then the morning of, I like barely rinse. Mm-hmm. Um, cause a lot of people put too much water and then it can get kind of stuck up there. Yeah. Right. And then they, it can get dislodged during the scene. Mm-hmm. And yeah, even if it's just water, happen. you're like, Oh my gosh, what's yeah. happening? So, um, yeah. So I don't really clean much the day of, I do it the night before. Um, the day of is more just like stretching prep. And then mm-hmm. it takes about 10 minutes into the scene where it looks fine, but like, we're not being crazy. And then from like 10 to 30 or 40 minutes, they're just like, whoa, like you really settled into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I like anal, but my butthole uh, is picky, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's funny because I, I know that you're good friends with Joanna Angel. Mm-hmm. And, she, and we all know her as like the queen of angel. Of angel. Well, she's also an angel, but she's the queen of anal is what I mean. And she, uh, it's funny because I had Ryan Keeley on and Ryan Keeley was telling me about how Joanna gave her advice on like, um, pasta and breads and everything Mm -hmm. and telling her like, you can eat, you know, before a scene, because Mm -hmm. I think Ryan said one of the big reasons that she didn't want to do anal was because she didn't want to have to starve herself for like two days. She's like, I just can't like, I'll get hangry. Mm -hmm. And so when Joanna disclosed to her like, Oh no, you can have like these carbs and stuff like that. She was like, she called it anal pasta. I think is what she called it. That's cute. (laughs) And, um, and I actually, before I met my my current husband, um, I was seeing somebody who was really large and liked anal. And I actually remembered calling Joanna and being like, Joanna, like <laughs> I met this guy and he's really into anal. Like, I know that you have all the advice. Can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> and she yeah, did. she, she does. She was one of the people that was like, I eat right before anal. And I was like, yeah, I eat breakfast. I have coffee in the morning. I don't care. I take some Imodium. Yeah. I know she does that as well. Um, I, I worked with her yesterday um, and we were going to do anal and I backed out. I was like, Hey, you know what? My butt's being mean to me today. We're not going to do it. Mm-hmm. And she's like, that's fine. It was content trade. So it was, you know, there wasn't like something on the line. Mm-hmm. Um, and she still did it. And I watched her eat an egg and a slice of cheese right before it. Like mm-hmm. she popped an emodium, ate her breakfast and then was like, okay, let's shoot. Yeah. Um, and I think that lessening the stress on yourself, like really, really helps your body, do what you want it to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I shot with Kieran Lee. Uh, Browsers has like a new Gonzo thing and they're getting all the tattooed girls and doing anal scenes for them, which oh, is cool. great because they're yeah. like finding space for us. Mm-hmm. And um, I told him, I was like, my butt will shy, blah, blah, blah. And we ordered food and it was like California chicken cafe. It wasn't carbs. It was like vegetables and chicken. And um, I had already eaten my whole wrap and he didn't see me. And I was like, oh, that dinner was so good. And I think he misheard me. I think he's heard like dinner smells good or something. He was like, oh, go eat. I don't care. And I was like, Kieran, I already ate all of it. And he was just like smiled. And he's like, good girl. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> but it just, it shows a level of comfortability with your body. And like, yeah. you know, um, and the scene went great. And as a performer, you need to n- learn to mm-hmm. know your body. And some people can't. I'm not mm-hmm. saying it's like amateur to to not eat. Yeah. Some people can't. I have to, or I will faint. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I have nothing to work with. I'm very thin. So if I go five hours without eating, I'm going to be, you know, getting lightheaded and yeah. a terrible performance. Yeah. You don't want that. Mm-hmm. So both Kieran and Ramon are not circumcised. Mm-hmm. Do you find, I've heard, um, that that is easier for g- girls with anal. Have you found that to be true? I have heard that to be true and I have never thought about it. But everyone that's not circumcised is very easy. But also, I dated someone that was very into anal, like, every day. Like, I didn't even prep for it. My body was just ready all the time somehow Mm -hmm. for him. And he wasn't circumcised and it was fine. Or he was. He was circumcised. He was circumcised. He did not have foreskin. Um, And it was fine. I think it more matters, like, the shape. Like, if they're curvy or have a really big head, it can be an issue. Mm -hmm. Um, But supposedly, the foreskin creates less friction Mm because it's absorbing some of their movement Mm -hmm. for you. But 
to be honest, I haven't noticed a difference in like the friction level. I think mm-hmm. it's more just about getting like the head in and sometimes having the skin there like just protects you a little. Right, right. 